This video was created to demonstrate how to use the software 4.7 AST auto servo tuning tool which is built into the Operate HMI to measure and validate existing tuning conditions on an axis. Possible scenarios could be a service situation where the existing tuning needs to be checked and validated. Another scenario could be a startup situation where tuning data was originally developed on a different machine of exactly the same type and then the data was moved over and needs to be validated. The descriptions are relevant for the 840D SL control system as well as the 828D control system. Please note that the processes in this video require axis movement Therefore, all necessary safety precautions must be taken into account before executing any of the described tests. The measurement process moves the relevant axis at an offset velocity while a set point frequency band is inserted to the drive for the measurement. The user must observe the testing conditions for possibly too high of an amplitude or offset velocity and can abort the test if necessary. The measurement process can be aborted by pressing the reset key on the machine control panel or setting the feed rate override to zero or executing an emergency stop if necessary. In order to use the test tool the axis must be operational and in a safe position. It should be already homed. It needs to be in the jog mode with the drive enabled and the feed rate override at a value other than zero. To start the testing process, press the menu select key on the machine control panel. Press the setup soft key. Optimize test soft key, auto servo tuning soft key. Then click on the option soft key. Click all the check boxes except for the last two. Click on the OK soft key. Then select the axis to be checked, in our case, the Y axis. Click on the tune soft key. The previously used strategy appears in the strategy bar. Click on the drop down box and select scenario 109, measure and validate existing settings. This scenario will only measure the results of the existing tuning, it will not make any changes. The process will be that preliminary measurements are first performed in order to set up test tool settings for the high frequency plant measurement then the low frequency plant measurement. If there is a direct measuring system such as a linear scale then there will be an additional measurement checkbox here for mechanical system. Click on the OK soft key and a page appears which shows the relative position of the axis to be checked. In this case the y-axis. If it has been honed then it will be in reference to the software limits that are active. Press the OK soft key. A restore point is created and the first measurement is set up to begin. The user must press the NC start which on the machine control panel is labeled cycle start in order to start the process. If the axis is in a safe position and will not collide with anything on the machine, the user presses the cycle start key. The axis moves slowly as the frequency response is measured. Then it moves in the other direction as the frequency response is measured. Since this first measurement is preliminary 
AST tool uses the data to automatically set the AST test tool measurement parameters such as offset and amplitude. Once that is determined, the high frequency plant measurement is taken and it is started by pressing the cycle start key on the machine control panel. Axis moves in one direction. Measurement is taken. Then the axis moves in the opposite direction as the second measurement is taken. The data is loaded into the test tool. And the preliminary test now for the low frequency plant is initiated when we press the cycle start key on the machine control panel. Again, the axis moves in one direction as data is taken. Then the axis moves in the other direction as data is taken. Data is loaded into the test tool. And now the low pre frequency plant will be measured when we press the cycle start key on the machine control panel. When we press the cycle start key, the axis moves in one direction while measurement is taken. Then the axis moves in the other direction as a measurement is taken. The data is placed into AST and is available to be viewed as Bode plots. The Bode plot of the position controller can be viewed by clicking on the Bode plot soft key. The speed control soft key can then be used to view the speed controller Bode plot. Once we have the measurements, we click on the accept soft key, which simply saves the data that we've measured. The window that appears here is present after every AST session to remind the user to interpolation path match the axes as required by the application. In our case, we are not changing any settings, we are only measuring, so we just press the OK soft key. And once more, the OK soft key. And now the tuning session has been saved on the NCU card. The session stays with the NCU and can be viewed on the machine via the view axis or load axis data soft key. If it is desired to save the tuning sessions to a USB stick, for example, click on the Option soft key, click on the Export Data soft key, and select a destination, in this case, a USB stick, click on the OK soft key, and now the data will be exported to the USB stick. And it still remains on the card as well. Click on the OK soft key, and the process is complete. The same measurement and saving process can be completed for the rest of the axes on the machine if desired. And when the data is saved, all axes that have an AST record file will be saved simultaneously in the same directory. Thank you for viewing this video. We hope this information is useful.